In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. The truths of the kingdom of God are revealed to the humble. We turn to the Lord and ask for him to strip away the pride and vanity that clouds our vision so that we might draw closer to him. Lord Jesus, you are meek and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your yoke is easy and your burden light. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all, and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. 
I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also, through his Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you live by the Spirit, you put to death the deeds of the body, and you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Today's Gospel is familiar for us who do funerals all the time. It's one of the readings that's offered to be used at Masses, at funerals, and it's often used because of that second part of that reading. Take my yoke upon me and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves for my yoke is easy, in my burden light. It seems to be the right thing to say to someone when they have lost someone, lifting them up, making them feel that they are not 
carrying this big burden by themselves. But I think that this reading is also appropriate for this time in our world. With everything that's going on around us, sometimes we can feel this burden to be overpowering. We can feel ourselves under the weight of it. And sometimes we can feel that no matter what we do, it's not good enough. No matter how much effort we put out, it's not appreciated. How much is actually accomplished, it's just not there. And it's here that Jesus is telling us that if we go and let it be given to our God, this burden, these things that we're doing, we will recognize that we are not alone. We are not doing this by ourselves. And that we can accept that what we're doing is the best that we can do. It's this little bit of humility that says, I'm doing it. And I don't need somebody to go and say, you're doing well. Or I don't need somebody to go and tell me, you do need to do more, but you're doing it. All we need to know is that we are making a difference by doing something, by not being complacent, by not being couch potatoes, by not being without God. I encourage you this day to take that burden that might be on you. Maybe it's the burden of being home and not being able to get out. Maybe it's the burden of fear of getting out and what might happen. Maybe it's the burden of having just tried to educate your children and feeling that you didn't do anything well with them. Maybe it is just you're getting up and saying, I don't know what I'm doing. Letting it go, offering it to our God, will help you to get through this moment. We still have a long way to go, and we know this. Little by little, we're taking baby steps. But let's do it together. Let's recognize that God is with us, and let's make sure that we recognize that that burden is light when we let God be with us. in proclaiming our Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We come before God with our needs and our burdens, for we are promised that they will be lightened. For the church and all who exercise her ministry, may we grow in holiness by God's grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we celebrate the anniversary of our independence, may peace be, pro may peace be proclaimed in our country. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For blessings and continued graces upon the lives of all of us gathered here, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prosperity of our country may reach the poorest among us, so that their burdens might be lightened. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may the healing touch of the Lord bring them healing and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they come to share in the eternal life of the risen Christ, especially those remembered in our mass, in our mass intentions for this week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. May this oblation, dedicated to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. My sisters and my brothers, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged for the changing of times and seasons. You have formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and to forever praise you in your mighty works through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now we offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. My sisters and my brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. We wish all a happy Independence Day weekend. We ask you to take some time this week to celebrate this Time of independence and to remember to say a little extra prayer for those who gave us this independence. My brothers and my sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Go in peace. Thanks be to God.